Hello, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a video that you guys have been requesting for quite some time now. It is a how I color my hair at home video. Uh, today I'm gonna to be using, cause I just did it, literally, just did it and styled it. Uh, this is the John Frieda um, Brilliant Brunette Precision Foam Color in 4BG, which is dark chocolate brown. And this is the result I got on my hair first wash. Now, the reason I chose the foam color for this video is because I've used this in the past and I think it's one of the most beginner friendly colors because it is a foam and I never had any, you know, patchy color mishaps with the foam because it's just a lot easier. Um, even some of the other box colors, they're liquid and cream and they can be a little bit more prone to being splotchy and harder to use so that's the one i chose for today like i said i've used it in the past so i've been a fan of it before um i'll show you guys some other colors that i've used in the past because went to walmart when i purchased this and um wanted to share with you guys some colors that i've used in the past that i really like uh, and then we'll go into the demo and then um we will talk at the end <laughs> okay so some of my personal favorites that i've used in the past i really like 32 from Revlon. I've used this. It's a really nice, like, chocolatey, not super dark brown. And then I'll bring the card for you. Okay, I also really like this line, the Excellence Cream. This specific shade is the one that I dyed my hair like a month ago, and I really liked it. It's a dark chocolate brown. It's very pretty, and I've used a lot of this line in the past, and I've, uh, and I've always, and I've always really liked it. Today, I'm going to be using the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Foam Precision Hair Color. I used this like a couple years ago, and I remember really liking it. I do remember I did like the 3N, which is a really deep, dark brown though almost black and I want to do like my hair is already naturally so dark so I can use a level four and it'll still look black on my hair so I'll either do yeah I'll do this one yeah okay we're going with this one <laughs> okay and I also really quickly wanted to say that in the past I have used these little thingies like the little bleaching kits and I I use these so many times when I do my highlights and I really like them they're, um, they come with like a powder and a cream, so you really get a lot of lift from them. So they're great. Or you can use the, um, this way. These, I've also used these in the past, and I really like these too. Um, they're good for like a quick fix, but it's actually kind of cheaper to go to Sally's and get all the stuff, like the bleach and the developer. But if you just want to do a little bit of highlights, those are actually really nice too. All right, this is my hair dye shirt. I've bleached and colored my hair a million times in it. The box comes with everything you need in it. I'm sure you guys know all box dyes come with everything that you need. So I'm just gonna mix this up really quick and then um, I'll show you guys how I do it. But it's so easy, you probably don't even need the tutorials. But um, when you're using foam hair dyes, not just this one, but any foam hair dye, you don't shake it to mix it. You just tilt it gently. Cause I guess if you shake it, you screw up the color. So you just go like this back and forth until you feel like it got evenly mixed. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna put my gloves on and then we'll start. All right, and then you just squeeze the bottle comes out as a foam. This one is super easy for beginners. Like I would definitely do a foam dye the first time, especially if you've never colored your own hair. They're just a lot easier to move around and you can like massage them in so that you don't have as much gappage or patching in your hair. And it actually really makes doing the back of your hair a lot easier. I don't like, I literally do not section my hair off perfectly. I just get the product in my hair and then once my hair is like more saturated, that's when I 
go in and start like really massaging it through. But yeah, I basically just coat all my hair in foam. If your hair is longer than mine, you'll probably need two bottles, but because my hair is short right now, one bottle works fine for me. And then once I've gotten all my roots done, I just go like this through the lengths and then pull it through. And then when I'm doing the back, I do the same thing. I have a little um, hand mirror. <laughs> Did I get you? No, you're fine. Oh. Um, I have a little hand mirror. So when I'm doing the back of my head, I'll stand like this and then angle it and then like squeeze it through and then just pull it all over just like that and get like the back and everything. And then you can actually just squeeze it into your hand like this and also apply it to your hair this way. This is a little bit easier if you don't want to squirt it directly onto your hair. And just massage it in with your hand. It's like the same thing. It's honestly like washing your hair. It's so easy. All right, I'm on my last squeeze. And my hair is fully saturated. Um, one bottle for my hair length. And I have super thick hair, guys. It, like I have plenty. I feel like my hair is perfectly saturated. It doesn't feel dry anywhere. All my hair feels nice and creamy, I don't know. It just feels nice and saturated with hair color. So I know that I'm not gonna have any gaps in the hair, but I always like to do this at the very end and just really make sure I worked it in fully because you don't want patches in your hair. So just take some extra time to really massage the color through. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this color in for 30 minutes and then I'll rinse it out. And I will show you guys the after, after I style it and all that. All right, so now we're here. This is the result I got from the color. Super happy with it. Really shiny. Um, and as I said, once it starts fading in the areas that have been bleached, I really like that because I like how it just makes the brunette look a little bit more multi-dimensional. Um, one thing I did want to say, so I personally feel comfortable doing my own hair color. Uh, I will, I flip-flop, like sometimes I go with box dyes, they're just a little bit more convenient sometimes because it comes with everything that you need, the developer, the gloves, and the color. Um, but I also am a fan of going to Sally's because you can purchase the colors, but you can also get um, a big jar of developer. So purchasing stuff from Sally's will probably save you more money in the long run because you can buy in bulk and just individual color tubes. So it's your own prerogative, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm not advocating box color for every single shade because I personally wouldn't feel comfortable dyeing my hair with a box if it was something super light or something uh, like a fantasy color or maybe um, even something that was a little bit more in the auburn red section just because I'm not as familiar with those shades. So I would rather go to Sally's and have a little bit more control over the exact shade that I want and the exact volume of the developer that I'm using. Whereas if you do buy a box color, the volume of the developer in the box is already preset. So if you do choose to go somewhere like Sally's, obviously you're gonna have a little bit more control because you can choose the exact volume of developer that you want. And obviously Sally's is gonna have a lot more different um, color shades as well. So it's kind of take and pick. Um, if you guys wanna see a tutorial on how I do my hair when I use a Sally's color next time around, I can do that for you. And I'll show you how I use um, a brush and a tint bowl, uh, choosing the developer and the color as well. But I just thought a box hair dye was like a little bit easier and it's a little bit more straightforward. One other thing I really wanted to stress to you guys is just because you use the same hair color as me does not guarantee that you will get the same color result as I have because everybody's starting color is different. So the tone that you're gonna get is gonna differentiate depend on the shade that you're starting with. So just keep that in mind. And um, that's something that I think I need to stress to you guys is just because you use the same exact color as me does not mean that you will get the exact same color result 
as I have. Um, and that's with any hair color, box dye or not. But other than that, guys, that's everything I wanted to speak about in today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. I will always do my best to help you guys to the best of my ability. I will link this color in the description box as well as the other colors that I mentioned just in case you were interested. If you found this helpful, please leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you guys would like me to do a tutorial on the other way I color my hair using um, the Sally's actual color tube and develop with the tint bowl and the tint brush let me know and if you are interested in the video where I speak about how to protein fill blonde hair so that you can get a nice rich solid brunette shade I will have that in the description box as well um, but other than that I think that is everything I wanted to speak about in this video please be sure to subscribe and come follow me on Instagram if you guys didn't earlier and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching this one bye guys